Hi y'all, this is Larry from Deep South Texas. And today we have a special treat. We're going to do Texas style smoked brisket. We're all kind of getting tired of uh, eating, eating turkey right now. Time for a little beef in our diet. So let's get started. Well, it's morning and it's a little bit cool out here this morning, but we need to get our uh, our coal started. So I've got some charcoal here in, uh, in this charcoal starter. I put a little lighter fluid on there. And uh, we'll get this going. Now this is my, my old uh, New Brunsfeld's uh, offset smoker. Uh, we don't use it very often, a couple times a year, but uh, we do use it for brisket, and <laughs> that's what we're going to do today. So now we have the uh, the coals started. While they're while they're getting going good, let's uh, let's go in and get that brisket uh, seasoned up. And here is the brisket we're going to smoke today. It's about 16 and a half pounds of USDA Prime. So this is going to work out great. Now we're going to put a dry rub on this. Let's take a look at that. And the dry rub is going to be one quarter cup salt. Three tablespoons of coarsely ground black pepper. and one tablespoon of uh, pepper flakes. And we'll just uh, mix this up. And then we'll be dry rubbing our brisket with this before we put it on the smoker. Now I've been given instructions not to trim off too much fat, but we're gonna take off uh, we're going to take off some of it for sure. Now I've trimmed off about a pound and a half of fat and I certainly could have trimmed off more, but we're going to leave it like this. And we're going to start uh, sprinkling on our dry rub all over. And get that uh, rubbed into the meat. The, the size of the brisket exceeds my pan here. So. Now, this makes... Uh, a fairly spicy hot brisket so you might want to adjust adjust that for your tastes but uh, we like it this way and we will get this uh, rub put all over the brisket and then we'll check on those coals and see if we're ready to start this up. Well, our coals are ready. Let's get this brisket going. And I have some chunks of hickory that I've been so soaking in water overnight. So let's uh, let's put a few of those on the fire here. Get those going. Now let's go get that brisket. And there's our brisket ready to put on the smoker. And I can already see some smoke coming out. So uh, 
let's get this going. Now, I'm going to smoke this with the fat side up. So, give it an opportunity for it to sort of self-baste itself while it's, while it's smoking. So let's get this on the, on the smoker. Now we'll smoke this for three or four hours um, and then we got a special hack to make it really tender. So let's close this up. We'll be watching it from time to time. We'll come out and check it, make sure we have enough, uh, enough heat and enough smoke. It's, uh, you want to keep it someplace around 200, 225, and uh, we'll be checking on it from time to time. Well, it's only been a few minutes, and uh, we're already up to 180 degrees and lots of smoke. Let's, uh, let's take a look. Oh, yeah. That's going to work out just fine. So we're about halfway through the smoking process now. It's been a couple hours, so uh, every half hour or so I come out and throw a few more briquettes in the firebox and then uh, wait a few minutes and come and throw some more wood in for some more hickory. So let's, uh, let's take a look, see what it's looking like now. It's looking, it's looking nice. It's looking nice. It's a little bit windier today uh, than I like it, so uh, it may not get quite as dark in there <laughs> as what I'd like to see. But uh, we're going to let it smoke for another couple more hours. Well, the brisket has been smoking for four hours. It's time to take it off and wrap it. And that's what we're going to do now. Let the smoke clear a little bit. <laughs> it's looking mighty nice. Let's uh, take it inside and get a closer look. And here is the brisket off of the smoker. It looks good and <laughs> it's filling the, the whole house with that hickory smoke. Now we're going to do a little hack here. We're going to uh, put it in, we're going to wrap it in tin foil and put it in the oven at 225 degrees. And it will stay in the oven for about five hours and it will be so tender when it comes out you'll just be amazed. Now that is one big hunk of beef. And I tell you what that's way more than my family can eat. So I'm going to do what I normally do at this point. I'm going to cut it in half and uh, I'm going to wrap one half and put it in the oven and the other half I'm going to wrap and put it in the freezer. And uh, we'll have that other half at Christmas. And we'll have some of this for dinner tonight. So I've taken two large pieces of uh, aluminum foil and uh, seamed them together here down the middle. And now, we're going to wrap this little piece of brisket up and put it in the oven. You really want this to be tight. I'm going to hold in all the juices. and sort of uh, what amounts to be braising this brisket for the next five hours.
We do put it in a big pan though, just in case we uh, do get a leak, which we usually do. Anyway, this one will go in the oven and it will be for dinner tonight. It will be spicy and tender, like you can't believe. We'll take a look at it when it comes out. Again, that's going to be five hours from now. And the other half, we'll let that cool down a little bit and then we'll wrap it the same way and we'll put it in the freezer and we'll take it out at Christmas. Our smoked brisket has been in the oven for five hours and it should be ready to try. Let's uh, don't have any any uh, of the juice leaked out, so that was that's good. And there it is. It looks pretty good. Let's take it off, take it out, and uh, slice a little bit up. Oh, it looks pretty tender. Looks pretty tender. Yes, indeed. And it smells just wonderful. All right, so let's see uh, how tender this is. Pretty nice. Mm-hmm, mm. -hmm. mm. Well, I think we better try a little bit of this on a sandwich. Got some onions here and pickles. Let's put just a little brisket on there. <laughs> and give it a try. Real authentic. Texas smoked brisket. Spicy, tender, and delicious. Give it a try. You'll love it. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it that thumbs up. Thanks for watching. We'll see you again next time.